Hey everyone, my name is Kristen and welcome to my cathedral garden. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you're here. I am a homeschooling mama to four kids. I have an 11 year old, a nine year old, a seven year old, and a four and a half year old. And today I'm showing you what we got them for Christmas. As always, these videos are just a little bit strange to film because I've either got to wait until they're gone or until it's really late at night like it is right now so I can do all these things, show them to you all, and then put them away until Christmas. So sorry for any weird lighting or if I'm talking kind of quiet. Um, I'm just really trying to be quiet because their rooms are right there. One thing I do want to say is that in order for me to keep from being driven crazy um, is that I really try to focus on the amount of gifts each of my kids gets. I want to make sure that everybody has the same amount to open on Christmas morning and I don't focus quite as much on um, making sure that the exact same dollar amount is spent because I think I would just go batty with the age ranges and um, the amount of kids that I have. I do make sure that everybody does have something that they very much want they have a bigger ticket item regardless of if that is in size and or if it's in money spent but everyone does have something that they are very excited about one thing that they all got that was the same was a nature journal now this is just a sketchbook from walmart everybody's is the same it's a link on the inside nothing just super duper fancy over here but they each got one of these and then everyone got a watercolor set and it has um, where you can mix colors at the top this was a nicer set than the um, two dollar crayola ones that we have been using our heart dollar tree uh, paints which have worked out great um, and those really showed me that they do enjoy watercoloring and um, encouraged me to invest. So every kid is getting, this is going to be a gift for each and every one of them. Okay, 11 year old boy. Disclaimer, this kiddo is probably my hardest kid to shop for. Um, he adores sports. He loves any in all kinds of sports and he is very naturally gifted at them um, incredibly so and so that is what he thinks about that is what he likes to do because of that he doesn't it's it makes it hard to shop for him um, he doesn't like Legos at all whatsoever um, he's not super mechanically minded or anything like that so when you are very very good at one thing and when you adore and love one thing that's great but eventually you run out of things to get and that's where I kind of found myself for him this year but so just know going into that when his stuff looks a little weird you're just like yeah I don't know so that's our disclaimer heading into that of course he got the watercolor and the um, nature journal notebook little black sketchbook those um will be something that everybody gets and then one one thing that you do need to know going into this and going a little bit further is that my um parents are getting my kids kind of as like a family gift um part of it is a nintendo switch is something that i'm super super excited about for them and for getting and being able to round that out and so for him i um went ahead i think the switch she ended up getting i think she got comes with two controllers and she got an extra one for one of my kids and so i ended up picking up an extra controller for the switch so that'll be part of his gift and then um i also on black friday since I knew that that is what she was going to get, I saw that Nintendo Switch games, some of them, a lot of them were half off. And so I picked up NBA um, 2022 for him and he is going to lose his mind. He has been playing, um, oh, what's it called? NBA Jam. 
maybe from 1999. He also, there's a Space Jam game that he has been playing too. So he is going to lose his marbles over this. I'm so excited. I can't wait for him to open this one. It's gonna be great. Um, so that's those two things. Then, um, like I said, sports obsessed, you guys, and he loves sliders and um, that go under basketball jerseys. And those things are expensive, and he's always on his knees. Always. So his nice Nike ones that he had have a big hole in the knee, but he still wears them. He loves them. So I went ahead and bought just some extra. This is like a three pack of sliders, and he is going to love it this so that's exciting he is getting um some patrick mahomes basketball shoes from um, my grandmother and that is making him super duper excited we will probably add to that one like with some sports bands maybe some dribble like blocker goggles or something i do want to add to that one just a little bit more um, to kind of round out that gift also one thing that is not here yet is I ordered him a, um, I think it was Russell Westbrook jersey, basketball jersey. He loves jerseys and oh my goodness, those things are kind of expensive too. So um, I did order him that as well because that's one of the things he asked for and he doesn't ask for a whole lot. Okay, the last thing that we bought him is also not in here. It is a new bike um i believe the last time he got a bike he was nine but now he is 11 and while i know that that does not sound like just the biggest jump maybe he was eight he may have been eight i don't know but my 11 year old is five foot with an eight he wears a size eight and a half men's shoe um he is every bit as tall as me if not taller and he just turned 11. so needless to say He's a big kid and his bike, his bike, the front brakes don't work and um, the, the like handlebars are kind of off from whatever. He just, it, it was time, it's time. And so we ended up getting him a mountain bike. I actually found a really nice one on Facebook Marketplace. Some lady even had bought everyone in their family a bike and ended up buying her daughter-in-law this bike that was a men's bike. Um, and it was really nice, but she said, I, I rode it maybe three times. It might have 20 miles on it total. So I'm hoping that this one will get it set. We'll use my height to kind of get it set and ready for him to ride. And I'm hoping, showing him how to change gears and all of that good stuff. And him saying you can use it to exercise and to train because that is what he loves to do. Um, he begs to do his workout in the mornings and stuff with his siblings. So. I'm hoping that that will be just kind of a push for him and he will eventually get really excited about it. Let's talk nine-year-old boy. Okay, so once again, there is the watercolors and the nature journal that he will have just like everyone else. Um, then I found this on, I believe it was a Black Friday deal. We got a beginner's board snaps circuits. I've heard that these things are great. I really hope that he really, really likes it. Um, the next thing is a game for the Nintendo Switch. Once again, these were all on sale half off on Black Friday, so I picked up a few just so they would have something different to play. This one is, let me see, it's the Tony Hawk um, Pro Skater 1 and 2. And I picked this one up because this kiddo loves anything with wheels. So um, I wanted to, them to have something besides a sports game or a Mario Kart game. And I saw that and thought he would really enjoy it. Um, this is one thing that he saw in the Target catalog that came to our mail in October. And he was wanting. It is a sharper image stunt drone. We will see if, you know, that lasts very long or not. It says try me. Keep an eye on the action. Oh, so it has LEDs. That's pretty cool. Love that. Um, and then, sorry, I was looking at my notes to make sure I'm not leaving off anything. 
we do not have this yet we're actually picking it up this weekend for him but he loves imaginative play he um has the best imagination probably out of all my kids uh, and has always just liked action figures and army men and things like that and um so we haven't shown them any of the marvel superhero movies or anything yet really we're just waiting until they're a little bit older uh, but he does have some of the characters however he was telling me whenever i was asking what he would like for christmas a couple months ago he was telling me he wanted things that he could play with that he already knew that, how to play with them and i was like but you're gonna have to elaborate and um he said, well, you know, I have Spider-Man and Iron Man action figures, but I don't know their story. Um, and so it's kind of hard to play with them. But if I had something, do you remember that one thing we used to have? And it was like an Imagine Next castle that was passed down to us. They don't make it anymore. And I think he played with it and then we got rid of it. Um, and But it was just a castle with Vikings. And so it didn't have its own storyline. He just knew what they were supposed to do, if that makes any sense whatsoever. He goes, something like that. I ended up finding another set, and I believe it is from Learning Resources or Lakeshore Learning. I cannot remember which one. I will put down the correct one in the link down below. Um, and it is a castle that has some knights and I think a dragon and stuff that comes with it. And it says for ages five to eight. Um, this kiddo I know will love it and he will really, really enjoy that. For my seven year old, she of course is getting the watercolors and the um, nature journal, a uh, little black sketchbook that they are all getting. And then um, I might put these two things together. It's just a My Generation little doll set um i believe i'm trying to look to see if it has like a thing i think it's just a little school set it doesn't really have a thing she's got shoes and a little backpack and pins and um that was just really cute my little girl loves to play school and stuff and she got a, an american girl doll for her birthday from my mom and so that was something that was really really special for her turning seven and so we are definitely going a little bit crazy um, for sure maybe not us in particular but the rest of the family and getting her stuff to go with her doll so she will have that and I think I'm going to end up putting this in there I picked it up during their sale but it is um, just a couple of travel boards from chock full designs or chock full of designs I'm probably saying that right chock full of designs um and i got her that along with this looked really really cool it is a chalk pencil so it's a little bit thinner then chalk and it has a chalk a, a chalk holder and then a regular size chalk holder which she will love so th those things kind of were two small things that i know don't really go together but um they'll probably go in the same box she also got shoes just like her sister did um once again more than i would ever pay for shoes for them for play and dress up and stuff but it's christmas so we have that um she asked for some horse toys uh, we don't have horses but what little girl doesn't love horses and she got a little vet set from playmobil um and so this is just a little um schleck i think that's how you pronounce that um just the start of a little horse set i didn't want to go too big or too crazy because there are four of us and living in this little house and everything's got to have a place to go and um, we're gonna see if she really does like this in place with it the way i hope she will and um go from there but this one was really a fun little sweet horse and cart set the next thing is um my kids are getting a nintendo switch for my parents as you already know so i went crazy again not crazy i say crazy quote unquote but um 
I got games that were on sale like half off on Black Friday and this is one of them. It is the Just Dance 2022 and I know that her and her sister both will love it. I, know, I don't think they'll be able to play the Switch as much as the boys will um, and utilize it as much but I do think they will be able to with this game so I'm really excited for them to have that. The last thing she has is not in this room but it is her turn this year to get a bike so she has a brand new bike um the last time she got one she was four and it's on an elsa and it's a 12 inch bike and she definitely needs a new one it is so tiny even for that tiny little pip squeak of a girl i got out there and so i know that she'll be thrilled to get that one for my four-year-old little girl um during the fall, she was given a little 14 inch glitter girl doll. That is the Amazon knockoff of um, the American Girl doll, Welly Wisher. They're just a smaller version of the 18 inch dolls, the one you think of when you think of American Girl dolls. And they're really sweet and cute. Um, but with her being only four, I uh, did not want to dive headfirst into the American Girl doll world with her um, until I knew that she could take care of it. So um, the Glitter Girl option is a great one. One thing I did find for that, so she's getting quite a few accessories, especially from my parents, but I bought, let me go ahead and pull it out, her, this little nightgown, and it has a little doll match. I went ahead and I got the nightgown as opposed to like um, pants and a shirt because I could not find any 14 inch doll um, doll and me sat uh, matches or sets so um, I was hoping I'm hoping the nightgown will be a little bit easier to just make it look like it fits as opposed to looking like it's too big if it were a um, pajama set I've had this for a while um, just hidden in our little gift closet it is a little glitter girl set and it will fit her little 14 inch doll it's a little traveler thing so it's got a little let me see if I can get it to focus so it's got like a little coffee, hat, a passport. This was really cute. It's like a little, um, uh, like a little cell phone or iPod thing, a bag, you know, just little accessories that will fit that 14 inch doll. So those will probably go in a box together. Another thing we got for her was um, Play-Doh kit. This girl loves to make Play-Doh. She loves to pretend to cook and all of those things. So we definitely needed some more Play-Doh. I don't even know if that's in focus. But yeah, it's a unicorn set. So there's a bunch of glittery Play-Doh in here, which she will love. So there's that one. This was a Black Friday find and it was definitely on sale. Um, another thing that we got her, uh, this girl, and. The glitter play-doh set tells you anything um this girl loves glitter she loves dress up like the girliest girl ever and so these um were definitely more than i would ever spend on toddler shoes or on play shoes but i know that she will lose her mind over these these are from amazon they are just i mean can you imagine um, I'm sure we'll probably end up wearing these to church at some point, but uh, those are her little toddler heels. Aren't those so fun? So that is part of her Christmas gift, and she will adore that. She loves shoes. Um, and then let me see. We got her. Oh, here it is. This. Um, so for her, I feel like... Um, it's hard to find her a bigger ticket item that we don't already own or her sister hasn't gotten and she's used before. Uh, she got a bike, a like ride on a balance bike last year from my mom. We, we have scooters. She actually got a scooter, another one for her birthday. I mean, she has a lot of these bigger ticket item things. So I saw this, I was really struggling with her on what to get and I saw this um, in Target around Black Friday time and it, w it was $15 off and it is just a little tykes 
oven type deal. And it comes with a little set of cookies and a pan and stuff like that. And so I went ahead and grabbed that. I believe it was 30 or $35 on sale. I'm not sure what it is now. Um, I am working on hopefully maybe finding them all a book. Right now I do have her one, um, but I don't have anyone else one. So we'll have to see how that ends up working out. But this is... Um, the book by Joanna Gaines, The World Needs Who You Were Made to Be, and it has hot air balloons. Um, and the reason I picked this one up for her is um, in the little city that we used to live in, they have a major hot air balloon um, festival and weekend in July. It's the last weekend in July usually. Well, my little girl was born um, on that weekend and it's such a fun weekend because you kind of it kind of sneaks up on you i mean you forget about it it's the middle of the summer and all of a sudden one day you'll look up and there are 10 or 15 hot air balloons just dotting the sky and they're practicing kind of very very magical so hot air balloons are her thing and anytime i find anything that's a hot air balloon i buy it in fact she had a little like contigo cup that was hot air balloons and we have lost it and I'm so sad. I have looked on eBay for another one. I cannot find a hot air balloon Contigo cup or Camelback. It was one of those water bottles. And I'm so sad we lost it because I've not been able to find it again. Her first birthday was hot air balloons. You know, I mean, just, it just reminds me of her. So that's what she has. We have one last pretty big surprise for them. And I'm so beyond pumped. Um, and I'm a little bit nervous right now because I'm like, what if they have been up and in listening in their rooms? They have not. It's been quiet for hours. It's very late at the moment, so I know that they're not awake. But while I would be sad if they learned about all of this that I just showed you, I would be devastated if they actually heard this one. Because we are getting a puppy for Christmas. And I wish I could say that louder. So hopefully you heard me and hopefully it translated. Um, I um, ended up finding one that will be ready on the 18th, but she agreed to let us come and get it on the 23rd. So um, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to put a picture up right here just so you can see her. We're going to name her Mabel. And um, hopefully the plan is, if it all works out, everybody's going to open everything and um, I think that they're going to be super pumped about a lot of the stuff that they've gotten. Um, and then, so all the gifts will be out from underneath the tree. And I'm going to say, oh, look, there's this one little one. We missed it. How did we miss that mark? Did you put that there? And no. So I'll be like, okay, well, let's open it. And then we'll say like to the family or something. I don't know. But it's going to be small. And in it will be a piece of paper that will say go to the piano bench. So they'll go to the piano bench, find another piece of paper. Okay, go to the dryer, and the dryer is one. Go to the silverware drawer, and there will be another piece of paper, and it's gonna lead them all these different places. And eventually, the plan is, hopefully, that um, it will lead them, and they'll go outside, and they'll end up having to go all around our yard. So like, go to the basketball goal, now go to the trampoline, which will be on the other side of the backyard. And walk, go all the way around to um, the front yard on the front steps or something. And then from the front steps, it'll say, now go to the Christmas tree. And then the Christmas, and at the Christmas tree, there will be a box that will have her inside of it. And they'll open it up and see the puppy. So I'm really, really excited. She is an English Springer Spaniel. Um, we love spaniels. Our uh, other dog was a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, which is really small. This one will be bigger and it'll be able to um, duck hunt with my husband and retrieve ducks and doves and stuff. So that's exciting. So anyway, that is what we got our kids for Christmas. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love it if you would choose to stick around here by subscribing to my channel. That means so much and giving this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this. Um, 
We are definitely a one income family, you guys. Just a regular run of the mill American family. Um, but I really am excited for this Christmas season and I'm hopeful that it'll be one that they just don't forget. Uh, definitely leave me a comment in the comments below letting me know what you got your kids or if you have a suggestion for one of mine that I haven't talked about yet. Um, you can do that down below or you can even go comment or send me a DM on Instagram. My handle there is the same, My Cathedral Garden. I love connecting with you guys, so definitely don't be shy. Comment away. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys later. Happy holidays.